David, everybody uses layers, at least we hope, right, in their AutoCAD drawings. Well, I would hope so. I mean, layers was really something that we got from old pin register drafting. Oh. So people got used to using layers. I'd forgotten that, right? but that's yeah. Where, that's where this all pen, comes from. Pen plotting. Pen plotting. Well, <laughs> pin, pin register drafting. Okay. Yeah. So we've improved it. It seems like almost every release we've got some improvements to layers. Well, the big there's two big things as I see it. We're going to that layer dialog all the time. So it used to be a dialog box. So you had to stop what you were doing and open up a layer dialog box. And it was a big dialog box. And it was box. a big dialog <laughs> box. So I work it with a large enough screen now where I will lay the layer dialog is now a palette. So a palette means it's non-modal. You can have it open all the time. So I'll actually have my layer palette open in a corner of my screen all the time. It's always there. It's not covering up the rest of my drawing. If you're working on two monitors, you can actually have it placed over on the other screen. So you've got access to your layer dialog, your la layer palette all the time. The other thing is the ability now to move the columns in the layer dialog or the layer palette around, place them in different order, and actually lock them. So it's kind of like a spreadsheet. If you've worked in Excel, you know, you'll have certain columns so that you'll be able to scroll through your spreadsheet, but the column that identifies what line you're working on stays in place. So with the layer name, for example, what used to be you'd, you'd scroll over to the right and, and the, then and the name would disappear yeah. off the left side of the dialog. Back. Right. So now that now you can have that layer name column remain on the screen and you can scroll all the way over to the right side of the uh, layer palette dialog and see what you're working on without ever losing sight of the layer name. And what are some of those properties all over on the right side that you like to change? Well, some of them are kind of sometimes if, if I'm working with uh, with layouts I may need to see which layers are frozen in a particular layout. If you remember, viewport layer freeze is one of those columns way off on the right. Well, if you're, if you're using that all the time, now you can drag and drop that column and actually move it over on the left-hand side so you don't have to scroll all the way across to find it. And what about those other four, we, because we made it even bigger a few releases ago, right, by adding the four new um, layer properties per, right. per viewport? So those are other um, yeah, so you've got all, that, right, but you've got all those properties in there. Now you can have them arranged the way you want them, and you can have them always visible so you can work on them. Great. And control uh, layer properties. So you, you had mentioned freezing uh, layer per viewport. Right. But back a couple releases ago where you can control um, the color, what is it, color, line type, on a per, on, viewport, on a per viewport basis, basis. which is huge. Yeah. That was a huge wish list yeah. request a couple releases ago. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of great, great new features. With, and one of the things by it being a palette, um, is those changes automatically apply. So if you change... Right, well that's the other thing is you see it immediately. Yeah. So if you go in, one of the other problems would be you'd go to change a, a layer color and you'd invariably pick the wrong layer. You wouldn't know it until you clicked OK and closed the dialog box. Now you see it immediately. So if you did choose the wrong layer, you can quickly go right back to the color property, change it and get it set on the right layer. Just now the palette's open, you see the change in the drawing right away. The apply button's gone. The apply button's gone. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Thanks, David. You're welcome.